eight choice is actually a tie. Which I know a lot of you are saying, hey, that's cheating, but fuck it, it's my list, I'll do whatever the hell I want. It's my favorite duo in the whole wide world, Miles and Jack, from Sideways. I think I actually would like these two individually. They both have very different adventures and very different personalities and very different goals. But putting them together, they offset each other and complement each other so well that it's pretty difficult not to enjoy them, hate them, feel sorry for them, want to smack them, but in other ways actually respect them all at the same time. Miles is taking Jack on a tour of wine country as his best man gift. But Jack swears a different vow. He's gonna get Miles laid as he's just been too damn depressed ever since his divorce. They come across two women which they both have the hots for and really like their personalities, and decide these are the perfect additions to their trip. Well, okay, not both of them. Jack is the only one that sees the opportunity. But he's very good at convincing Miles that there is something great to be had here. Both of them get more than they bargained for, both good and bad. Jack decides he may actually like his girlfriend, played by Sandra O, oh, more than his actual fiance. And Miles sees a romantic relationship looming as well, but is too insecure and constantly strikes out. Both of them can be considered incredibly despicable for this. Jack for being such an idiot and not taking responsibility for his decisions, and Miles for being so insecure and not actually telling the truth, as well as not taking the chances that he should. So you might be thinking, hey, these sound like two assholes. Well, in many respects, they kind of are. But in other respects, the reason they make such a good duo is because they really do come together to complete something likable. Miles would never open up if Jack wasn't there to push him, and Jack would keep making dumb decision after dumb decision if Miles wasn't there to talk some sense into him. So they keep continuing to try to keep the other in balance. I think I like these two as a duo because it actually does show the importance of human interaction. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of obvious, but as much as we like to say, oh, I like this character as an individual or this character as an individual, here's a team that really do need each other. Their constant conversations and bickering really do balance the other out. Sometimes one needs a push, sometimes one needs to be pulled back. Sometimes one needs to get the other out of trouble, sometimes one needs to get the other into trouble. It's a perfect example of taking risks but also playing it safe, and when you need both to actually make something positive. When you get down to the story of Sideways, it's not especially interesting. Which is to say, I didn't exactly know where it was going to go, but that's not what held my interest in the movie. What held my interest was these two characters. I was so fascinated how I could both admire them and despise them both at the same time, and for entirely different reasons than the other. Everything I hated about Jack, I admire about Miles, and everything I hated about Miles, I admire about Jack. Which is why you can see it's so hard to separate these two. They just both meld together so perfectly. Perhaps if you combine these two together and took the best traits out of both of them and removed the worst traits from both of them, you could have a very successful, awesome person. But that's no fun. We want a little bit more reality. We want a little bit more meat to it. We want to see why it's good to disagree with others and to take chances and to play it safe and the benefits of all the opportunities out there. That's why I put these two both in the number eight spot. They can be funny, serious, admirable, pathetic, charming, awkward, but always entertaining. They're one of my favorite duos from one of my favorite movies.